Yeah, so tell me a little bit about what you did to learn dance and West Coast Swing, you know, applying these theories and techniques. So, as I said, one of the main things was just where is your attention, right? Um, for particularly when I was practicing West Coast Swing, I think this applies for any movement practices. Um, I had a particular uh, practicing technique, which was uh, to whenever I was trying to learn something, I always have to like be uh, putting it on top of whatever I am already doing. Like I'm I'm interfacing with what I'm doing in order to try and change it to something else. Uh, in order to do that, I have to um, <clears throat> I have to perform some movement. You know, if I'm going to do some move, I have to, I have to perform it. Because a lot of it, uh, you know, a lot of the technique lives in my body. It doesn't live, you know, up here. My, there's my concept of some move of what I'm doing, but there's also just like what I actually do. So first, I have to get in touch with what I'm actually doing with some movement, and then I like perform it and I watch myself. I don't try and change what I'm doing right away. I have to see what I'm already doing. Um, so that I can use that as my baseline. Okay, what am I actually doing? Um, what is uh, <clears throat> what is the thing that I want to change about this maybe as well after after I've done it I can pay attention to that and then I can adopt a stance a stance of uh there's a stance towards what I'm practicing in order to change it so it's like what if I uh try and do this move but I'm gonna like try and delay my footwork and then that's the main thing I'm going to do. Okay, cool. That's like one thing I can try and do to change my technique. What if I try and do it like more staccato, you know? Or what if I do it like as smooth as possible? There's like many directions you can uh, take any kind of movement. Um, and I, I refer to this as kind of like a stance towards the movement. Um, and then you practice that like stance towards the movement on that move. And then you can later see, you know, when you're doing it sort of unconsciously, how does it show up? Uh, so this is, this is another, um, this goes into another thing of like, what are the feedback loops involved in uh, what you're practicing? So for me, I actually checked what I was doing by watching videos of myself dancing. And there I could see, like, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to hold all these stances in my head of everything that I'm trying to do while I'm dancing. And this, these are social dances I'm talking about. Um, I would film my social dances and, and I would have about an, like half an hour or an hour of data on that, uh, that I could watch myself to see for things that, you know, if I was if the stances I was taking, if I practice actually like came through. Um, and that was, that was one feedback loop going on. Another feedback loop that I then implemented is, you know, I would take my dance videos of what I was actually doing, not just my practice. And then I would, uh, I would go to my private, my private lessons with my teacher, the Canadian swing champions, Miles and Tessa. And I, I would show them, that and they would give me feedback on what I was happening in my video. And then I would, I would, you know, try and understand what their feedback was. And then there's an additional thing of, if we go back to, you know, what are you actually learning? Um, if I were to practice uh, some kind of uh, difference in the private lesson there, um, I would like know that like, this is still not the same context as my social dance. So another sort of principle is um, thinking about what sort of associative contexts you're in. What are you, um, like the way that practice is a different context than uh, social dancing is a different context than performing is a different context than private lessons is a different context than a uh, choreo. These are all like different sort of things happening and your brain will separate them. And if you know, if you practice in one, it's not necessarily going to show up in another. So another thing for what you're practicing and you know, what are you actually practicing? You might be practicing to perform 
a certain thing in your private lesson, but not in your social dancing, which is the thing you actually care about. Uh, this is why it was important for me to film to see what I was actually doing and then try and go to my private lessons, get feedback. It's sort of like figure out what stances I should try and adopt in my practice, in my social dancing, um, and then do that there and like try and get a handle on it when I was at a private lesson, but not like fooling myself that that private lesson itself was going to uh, correct that or improve my dancing right away. A common pitfall I've seen is people would go to private lessons and then be like, oh, okay, cool. I like, uh, I learned some things. And then they just kind of go social dancing and they, they don't, they don't have a clear like way that their private lessons would feed into their social dancing, into their competitions. Um, whereas, you know, for me, it was like, I would go social dancing, I would film it, I would watch it, I would pick out some things from the dancing, I would show that to my teachers, my teachers would give me something to look for in my videos and to practice, I would then go back and watch my videos to see if I could find more times when I was doing some, uh, doing this thing, or like if I uh, was uh, uh, messing up or opportunities, you know, I basically I was looking for what they were talking about in the private lesson again, and then I would go social dancing. Um, and there I would also have I, in my social dancing, I would have a, a, I would try and have one stance, just one stance the whole night, not switching it up too much of like, okay, this social dance, I'm going to focus on paying attention to my partner or like not going crazy and doing too many spins, or I'm just going to be really smooth this whole night, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, then I would watch my videos to see if I actually improved on these things.